Sir, the number of applicants admitted at Phase 2A1 and 2A2 has remained fairly stable over the past three years at around 12% of the P1 cohort. Out of all successful applicants at Phases 2A1 and 2A2 in the past three P1 registration exercises, less than 15% stay more than eight kilometers away from their schools. So they form less than 2% of the total P1 cohort. The current P1 framework does recognize the need to consider school ties and home school distance together as priority is given to those who live within one kilometer of the school, followed by those who live between one and two kilometers, and then only those who live more than two kilometers from the school. Mr. Gantempo. I'm uh, MOS for the comprehensive reply. Uh, my personal experience that we do have cases whereby the resident actually stay next to the school and couldn't get a place. Right. So will there be a further revision probably to look at you know, the distance? In other words, those who stay as near will get the priority. Will there be any uh, uh, possibility to, uh, for MOE to review and look at you know, all these cases? Thank you. So I thank the member for the question. Uh, there is always going to be a need to balance out uh, the availability of spaces for proximity, as well as to make sure that uh, parents have some opportunity to send children to their alma mater, or if uh, the sibling is already in that school and the family is relocated. So I think there's always going to be uh, a balance that we have to strike between these uh, varying needs. We'll always be tracking the data around P1 admission very, very carefully.